Hey folks, um, a beautiful good afternoon to you, um, wherever you're watching us from. Uh, this is yours truly, uh, Mr. Panuka. Uh, today we're coming from greenhouse number five uh, here at Panuka Farm. Um, and uh, we just want to touch on something a little, you know, quick. Um, so I'll catch us uh, shortly as we just, uh, you know, share you know, some of our findings on fertility trenches, um, you know, and some of the other, you know, aspects that you need to do uh, to make sure that they actually work uh, for you. So in case this is uh, your first time uh, on the Panuka Farm uh, YouTube channel, uh, always remember, you know, to just smash that, uh, you know, subscribe button um, and then the bell icon so that, uh, you know, you are reminded uh, of any, you know, videos that, uh, you know, we bring forth uh, on this uh, uh, channel. So for um, you know a couple of years that we've been doing you know um, you know greenhouse you know farming uh, we have actually um, shared about our fertility trenches that um, you know we do uh, in the greenhouses uh, as we do you know uh, land preparation um, but we are actually redoing that uh, in this uh, you know greenhouse uh, arising from some of the findings uh, and apparently one of the issues is that um, you know the plant you know residues that actually we put underneath um the fertility trenches were actually buried too deep um i think along the way we've actually you know come to realize that um if you are going to put any you know fertility you know material be it uh, farm residues uh, grass or whatever um they've got to be within the range you know the the, the root you know range of the crops that you are going to farm uh, so for us in the you know uh, greenhouses mainly it's uh, you know two uh, crops sweet pepper uh, and English cucumber, obviously using, um, you know, uh, iceberg lettuce as, you know, uh, a rotational uh, crop. So, you know, over time, we've actually come to realize that uh, both, you know, sweet pepper and English cucumber, the root, you know, depth usually just goes maximum, perhaps uh, 20, you know, uh, centimeters. Um, we actually buried most of the plant residues around 30, you know, uh, centimeters. And um, so for this greenhouse, we've actually come to realize that, um, most of the uh, um, you know the fertility uh, was not being you know accessed by um, the crops so we're redoing this um, so let me just show you exactly what we're doing uh, to try and uh, make sure that uh, you know the future crops that we're going to plant uh, in this greenhouse uh, will actually access you know that uh, fertility that we'll put from the farm residues combination with some well decomposed uh, cow dung so um like i just indicated um, yes the fertility you know that uh, we buried here is actually not accessible you can actually see it's just two years since we buried you know uh, dug these fatigue trenches and here we are at around 20 you know uh, centimeters you can't actually see uh, any you know farm you know uh, plant residues so that means the fertility is actually way way too deep and this is not good um, and uh, apparently it was actually quite easy to to notice um, the fact that um, the fertility is way, way too deep, given, you know, the performance of the crops in uh, this greenhouse. And apparently, I think there are a few more other greenhouses that where we've noted that we did this a bit, you know, too deep. So even here, already this is around 20 centimeters. You can't see any evidence of that plant residue. Um, yeah. So this is something that we're actually trying to fix now. Um, much as we'll go, say, 30 centimeters in digging, um, but we'll have to make sure that, um, you know, the fertility uh, in, in form of, you know, plant residues and other, you know, materials is actually uh, accessible within the uh, first 20 uh, centimeters. So this is why, you know, we always encourage you as farmers or fellow farmers, as it were, that um, as you journey through your farming, um, you know, you have to actually collect, you know, evidence. Um, there's a lot of books, you know, out there that will tell you, you know the do's and don'ts um but i think you gain a lot more i think from practice and uh, make sure that you are actually very observant in what's going on with your crop and uh, some of the practices that you've done um and then make amends okay so that's that's the journey of farming uh it's all about you know uh trying this and that and then what works stick with it and then if something doesn't work you know uh get to know exactly why that may not have worked so yeah, this is what we're trying to, to do here to remedy this. So we're digging uh, and then we bring in some more plant residues, uh, make sure they are accessible to the plants. Uh, and then we bury within the you know first 20 
uh, centimeters. And uh, we're going to observe, I think, over time. But I think we're quite optimistic that uh, uh, it might actually be a good thing uh, that um, we are, you know, reviewing, you know, the protocols around the making of uh, fertility trenches. So there you have it. Uh, I'm actually, you know, sweating. You can actually see. <laughs> It's hot out there, but also the greenhouse you know, environment is naturally quite hot. Uh, so it's quite, a, you know, um, you know, a double-edged, you know, sweat as it were in terms of heat. Um, you know, in October, usually in Zambia, you'd actually, you know, have quite a lot of rains. But uh, for this year, unfortunately, it's still quite, you know, dry. Uh, I think the meteorological, you know, department is actually projecting that we might have rains around, you know, 15th of uh, December, just a couple of days from now. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I hope you, you picked up. Uh, I think the, the key takeaway is that uh, be very observant with what you do on the farm. Um, if some practices are not working, change, you know, uh, until you get it right. Okay. So if you are trying out, you know, a practice on the farm that doesn't seem to um, work, do not despair. You know, don't give up. Um, that's just how it rolls. Uh, even some of us who've been in it for quite a while, uh, we're still, you know, doing try and error. Um, you know, once it works, and then we stick with that. So, yeah, just uh, a word of encouragement. So, from, you know, yours truly, uh, Mr. Panuka from right here at Panuka Farm, Lusaka, Zambia. Have a lovely one wherever you are, and uh, please remember to subscribe, journeying, you know, towards, uh, you know, increasing our coverage uh, so, so that, uh, you know, this good news of farming uh, can actually reach uh, to quite a number of people, you know, out there. So, have a lovely one. Bye-bye.